Hey you guys, before I got into the video, I just wanted to talk briefly about my new ebook, Zodiac Signs Sex Language. Whether you're looking to improve your sex life and your dating life, or if you're just looking to expand your knowledge about astrology, this is definitely the right book for you. This book is meant to help you improve your sex life, your, your dating life, and your love life, your relationships, and to spice it up in the bedroom if need be, um, or to just once again, you know, help you learn more about astrology. So if you're interested in any of these things, if you're interested in learning in learning about the different love languages and the different sex languages of the zodiac signs, definitely look into getting this book, Zodiac Signs Sex Language, written by me, edited by me, and designed by me, Lamar Townsend. So you can purchase this uh, ebook on my website, lamartownsendtarot.com, or you can purchase it on Amazon, on the Amazon Kindle ebook store, all right, or just amazon.com. All right, into the video we go. Thank you for listening and watching. Venus and Scorpio. Sex is not everything in a relationship. Now, this can apply to all Scorpios, but since I'm a Venus and Scorpio, I'm going to focus on Venus and Scorpio. However, if you're a Scorpio, you know, take it how it comes, alright? So, no pun intended, alright? So, Scorpio, Venus and Scorpio, I mean, um, sex is not everything in a relationship. Now, the reason why I'm focusing on Venus and Scorpio is because Venus is all about relationships. I'm talking about, you know, the planet and also the placement in our birth charts, okay? You know, it's about relationships. It's about building bonds and harmony and how we approach love and romance. So, my Venus is in Scorpio and... You know, Scorpio is a very sexual sign. It's ruled by Pluto and Mar Mars, for goodness sakes. Mars being, you know, uh, the planet that rules sexuality, that rules sex. Pluto also rules sex, but on a deeper, more subconscious kind of level. A more kind of spiritual kind of level, right? So, with Venus and Scorpio, we're highly sexual. Now, one thing, now maybe it's just because I'm still young, I don't know. I don't think it ever really goes away as a Venus and Scorpio, though. Our, like, sexuality, you know, our, our sexualness, you know. But because Scorpio is such a sexy kind of sexual sign, um, it's ruled by Pluto and Mars, sex is a very important part of our romantic relationships, our um, romantic partnerships, okay? But it's important that we don't let sex be the number one kind of basis that we form relationships from. Now, I'm not talking about one-night stands. I'm not talking about friends with benefits. I'm talking about a person whom we have a romantic connection with, who we may be in a committed relationship with, or whatever, ex exclusive relationship, um whom we trust, who we, you know, have that type of romantic, um, bond with. Sex is a very important part of that kind of relationship for us, but it, it shouldn't be the main basis of a relationship. It's very important, yes, and, you know, it's very, very important that we be compatible with our partners in that way, but what about the other, you know, important aspects of Scorpio? Like, the deep spirituality, the deep need to be understood, you know, the deep, you know, need to um, understand your partner on a deep level as well. The, you know, to have a deep spiritual connection as well as an intimate connection, you know. There's so many amazing benefits to having a Venus in Scorpio. And I think once we really tap into all those benefits and not just, you know, the sexual benefits, the pleasing the pleasure benefits you know and we look deeper you know and we search for deeper you know we 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 want deeper in other people that's you know that's a beautiful thing you know and what we what we search for in people is typically what we get so if we're searching for just a purely sexual connection well then we're not looking at the deeper you know tones of the relationship we're not looking at the deeper essence of the person we're you know dealing with so Sex is just one facet of the relationship, Venus and Scorpio. A very important facet, you know, a very, very wonderful facet, but not, you know, the end-all, be-all of a relationship, you know? Um, 
you know, yes, we have to be compatible with our partners in the bedroom. Yes, we have to be compatible. Yes, we have to be attracted, you know, and, and desire our partner and vice versa. But we, I, I don't know about you, but I also want a, a con like an emotional connection. I want to feel understood. I want to understand my partner. I want a partner who also likes my the types of things that I like. Because Venus is Venus and Scorpio is also well, Venus rules also our hobbies, you know, and what we like to spend our money on. So I would like someone who has similar hobbies to me, and you know, likes to go out to the theater, you know, to to shows and concerts like I do, or you know, likes to. Just do things I like to do, you know, like, you know, it's one thing to be compatible in the bedroom. It's one, it's another thing to be compatible outside of the bedroom on a date, you know, um, eating dinner with their parents or with your parents. Like, you know, like, let's not forget those moments too, you know, <sighs> just saying Venus and Scorpio, you know, it's just something to think about. You know, we're so sexual. We are so, you know, that's such an important facet of a relationship for us i think sometimes we it's like a rose colored glasses syndrome where we can sometimes even get blinded by that aspect of a relationship and whereas other aspects of the relationship aren't compatible but the sexual compatibility is there it's like is it really compatible is it really a compatible relationship or is it just a purely sexually compatible relationship two different things nothing wrong with either of them but it's important to define both of them boundaries boundaries are important seven thousand pisces so boundaries are super important for me clear boundaries but i think also for venus and scorpio you know because sometimes boundaries can be blurred especially when we want to kind of uh, encompass and in a way own our partner i hate that kind of phrase but you know um but when it's just a purely sexual relationship it's not really beneficial for both parties you know um both parties are only being understood um on a surface level on a physical level on physical level only being appreciated possibly for each other's bodies each other's physical attributes and stuff like that you know only a facet of me as a person, only a facet of you as a person, only a facet of a relationship, you know, important facet, important part of who I am, important part of who you are, but it's not all we are, it's not all a relationship is, so, call it maturing, call it just growing up and becoming less... I don't know, hypersexual as, you know, young people can be. I don't know, you know, it is what it is. Also, call it, you know, maturing and wanting actually a one-on-one -on -one relationship that isn't dysfunctional, um, and that is actually compatible all -encompass in an all-encompassing kind of way, not just a sexual kind of way. Does that make sense? All right, well, sex is not the most important part of a relationship sex is not everything in a relationship venus and scorpio okay and it's something that i need to remember and you need to remember maybe as well especially young venus and scorpios all right with that being said thank you for listening and watching if you would like your own personal private reading contact me i do tarot readings birth chat readings and messages from your spirit guides check all of those out on my website lamartownsandtarot.com also check out my ebook zodiac signs sex language available now on amazon and on my website namaste love and light hey guys thank you for listening and watching please hit the like button share with your friends and your family and also please subscribe of course and if you're interested in my ebook check out my ebook purchase it on my website or on amazon i would also love it if you would follow me on my social media facebook and instagram until next time, thank you guys for listening and watching, and I'll catch you in the next video, alright?